Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard, I'm coming to you today for the January update for Transact Thrive. This is something I started in early January and I'm gonna continue through the entire year. Uh, I have had some travel days, some cruise days, which have been a little bit different. I'm headed out tomorrow on another cruise uh, and I won't be able to do this until probably February. So I wanted to give you a bit of an idea of a breakdown, a bit of an idea of where everything's gone in Transact Thrive. The base idea of Transact Thrive is every time I buy something, I try and buy an equivalent amount in that stock or a competitor stock or a complimentary company stock, or if it's a private company, or if I go get some chicken wings at TGI Fridays, I buy some Tyson. Uh, and I've been doing that for the month of January. I've tried to keep you updated as much as I can if you're following along in the shorts, but this is a long video. I want to give you an update on the portfolio. The stock market's been a little meh in the month of January. So um, things are mostly flat, but I wanna show you where the portfolio stands so far. There are recurring investments for things like that I've added in that I've not done. Like my iPhone, I pay $77 a month for my iPhone, so I've put that in. I put my T-Mobile cell phone bill, rounded that up to $100 for T-Mobile. But the idea is every time I buy something, I try and buy some stock in that company or an equivalent company. And I've made little videos here and there, uh, and I wanna show you what the account actually looks like now. So we've got the account. Now I do have some cash sitting in the account. The buying power of the account is $112,000. There's margin. None of it's being used right now. Um, I have made some interest. Um, and this account, which is only being used for that, uh, I did a little Bitcoin trading in. Year to date is up $501 or 1.78%. It is currently the um, 23rd of January. Again, I'm in transit. I'm headed to the Carnival Jubilee. Um, but uh We've got $27,000 in cash, earning interest at 5% interest. So I've accrued $70 in interest, but and then I've got some little straggling crypto, but here we go. This is what we have invested in. And I will tell you, I did actually um, go to Target today and I spent like 50 bucks and I didn't put this in here. So I'll show you what I'm really doing. I'll hit buy, I'll hit 50 bucks in Target. Yeah, oh, place an order. And trade on 24 hour market. Okay. I don't want to buy that much Target. So, review. I'm just going to queue the fractional order, and that's going to buy 50 bucks of Target in the morning. Let's talk about what's up, what's down, what percentages are up, what everything I've just happened to place an order at Target. Um, let's talk about percentage, first of all. Um, percent chains. So, this is total percent change. You see, we've made money on Target, we've made money on Google, we've made money on AMC, DraftKings, Costco. Carnival, uh, AT&T, uh, C3AI, Pepsi, and Starbucks. Again, this has been a relatively flat market, but I do want to show you there is actually a considerable amount actually invested in here. So if we look at my equity, you can see I've got pretty considerable stakes in some of these companies. Carnival, uh, Norwegian, C3AI. We're just getting started. Just to give you an idea, let me oh, let me jump over here. I'll show you what's actually invested. Um, we've got one thousand six hundred and seventy-one dollars actually invested there. We got brokerage cash of twenty-six thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine dollars. So one thousand six hundred and seventy-one dollars are invested, and you'll see our major winners so far. Uh, let's just look at total return. Our major winners so far have been our biggest winner, I think, is Uber and Caesars Entertainment, dollar-wise. DraftKings. Uber, Caesars Entertainment, and DraftKings have been our biggest winners dollar-wise thus far. Again, what I'm doing is every time I buy something, like I'll give you an example again, I paid about $150 for American Airlines. Because I'm flying on an American flight very, very early on the morning of the 24th. So I can put in $180. I can hit review. And boom. I'm buying $180 for that stock. I've got money going into Apple because my iPhone payment went today. But the idea is overall, again, I've done a little bit of crypto trading in this app here and there. Um, we're, we're positive, so no reason to complain. Uh, but all this app has been used is for Transact Thrive so far this year. Not a lot of activity in January. It's been mostly a sideways month. 
which is good for dollar cost averaging because every purchase you do, you're putting it in. So you're, you're, you're making that dollar last quite a bit longer. I like it. I'm going to give you updates every month or when there's big changes or big movements or things like that. But this month, Transact Thrive has been pretty flat. I've been buying when I can. Again, I'll, I'll show you what I've got. Let's just name off. We'll go to equity, meaning how much money is invested. Target, $56. Uh, Squarespace, $11.95. Uh, Tyson, $6.86. Uh, Mills Molson Coors, uh, $23.34. Brown Foreman, who makes uh, this guy right here. Hey, look, he's, uh, I think, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he makes my friend Jack. If you're wondering who these companies are, uh, Google, Penn Gaming, it's an online gambling company uh, for sports betting. AMC, the theater company. DraftKings, another online gambling company. IGT, slot machine manufacturer. Bets is a sports betting and gaming ETF. G Genius Sports, another sports betting, because I got into sports betting a little bit. Tattoo Chef is something old from back in the day that's worth nothing. Apple, that's my iPhone. I pay for that monthly on the iPhone upgrade program. And I did order the uh, Apple Vision Pro. So I am going to put the monthly payments for the Vision Pro on there. Uh, Costco, I uh, got $5 in there from the food court. Uh, Royal Caribbean, yum. That's KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut. American Airlines waiting to buy. Carnival, $192. AT&T, that's my monthly internet bill for home internet. Wendy's, I bought some Wendy's a couple times. STZ, Constellation Brands, Corona, and a lot of other beer brands. NCLH, Norwegian, QSR, Burger King, GIS, General Mills. I think I bought that when I had some breakfast cereal. I couldn't quite place. Uh, AI, C3 AI. So I put my AI trading software, Caesar, Caesar's Palace. Ball makes all the cans for beer. Who would have thunk? Uh, we've got SAM, Sam Adams, Boston Beer, uh, BDL, Flanagan's. Uh, who, what else do we have? We have ICCH, which uh, is a insurance holding company focused on the food and beverage industry. Vine. Fresh Vine Wine. EMX. Uh, that is Dominican Republic. Yeah, that's a Dominican Republic mining company. Uh, Casey. Those are gas stations. Casey's General Store. Murphy USA as well. Gas stations. EXR. Extra space storage. My monthly storage bill. Uh, I split that between extra space storage and public storage. So just kind of giving you an idea. Pepsi. Every time I buy a Pepsi product, a Gatorade. Uh, that's the main Pepsi product I buy is Gatorade. Uh, CMI. Cummins. Every time I take the Brightline, I buy some Cummins. Uber. Every time I take an Uber. And I'm about to take a lot of Ubers all over Texas on my Texas trip. Weed. I think I bought weed because I bought a kava drink and uh, can't buy kava companies. So uh, I should have just, you know what? Let's make this right. Uh, this is not the right kava, but let's just buy $50 in kava. And that's what I've got invested so far. Again, there's not been much movement in the market so far. Uh, in January, it's traded pretty sideways. So nothing's up, nothing's down. I trade a little Bitcoin on and off in that account. But overall, I'm not selling anything because when you transact, and you thrive. Hopefully when you buy what you like and you like what you buy, you transact thrive. This is the January update for transact thrive. Feel free to post anything below. I'm going to continue updating you uh, when I'm not doing other shorts uh, and I've got something to share. I will give you shorts on some of the transactions, but it's not going to be every single transaction, but I am still buying pretty religiously. I bought almost $2,000 so far and I've been on cruises and stuff uh, this month. So this is Richard from No Pants Profit, specifically transact thrive, reminding you that when you buy stock in what you like. Hopefully your transactions thrive. Have a great one.